Hi, I'm Ariana. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. How are you? Pretty good. So what attracted you to this project and playing Ezra? Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, this, the script was amazing when I first got it, like the audition. Um, and like, yeah, the script is so amazing. It was very compelling. <clears throat> and like, you know, Ezra's character, that's also what part of really drew me to the role is because Ezra has like so many different layers to him. And like, he's a very, you know, complex character and he just goes through so much in the movie. And I really like how his character is. And I think that, you know, it's a very beautiful, you know, dark, dramatic movie about like family struggles and like the family dynamic. And I think a lot of people are going to be able to relate to that. So I think that's what part of really drew me to the movie. Yeah. Speaking of um, <laughs> the dark, dramatic story. So you're a teenager and usually kind of the roles are a bit younger in the sense, a bit more for yeah. that audience. Is that something you kind of keep in mind that you wanted to take on a more dramatic media role? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think that's what like it's really cool as well because a lot of times, like the 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 teenager role, like you know, the kid, like they don't. There's not much to them, but like, yeah, I think it's really cool how Ezra is right off the bat, like you know, smart, funny, sarcastic, and he, you know, he like he goes through a lot. And I do think the dramatic role for that character is really good, and I think it really fits with the movie. Well, how is it like to be kind of one of the only kids on set? <laughs> or teenagers well yeah well you know I was working with Brian and Kate and I mean they were awesome it's like they were like you know they're just like my normal friends from school right like you know we had so much fun together on set and like between takes you know it's a heavy movie but like we were always laughing and like having fun and like I mean working with Brian it's like it's really like a master class being on set with him and he like when I'm on the scenes with him like it, it just like, I don't feel like I'm acting. Like, it just feels like he's my actual grandfather. Um, and, you know, he's, he's just such a good actor. And then, like, Kate, she has so much emotion in her in her acting. And I think it really, like, elevated my performance as well. And um, she also, <laughs> she bought me a kitten <laughs> as a gift at the end of the movie. Yeah, you didn't know that? No! <laughs> yeah, was, What's the cat's yeah. name? His name is Blue. We got him, he's like a year and a half now, but she got me a, ca a cat as a gift. Like, it, like, so thank you, Kate. That's the best gift ever. Um, <laughs> and then, um, you know, Captain Hardwick, she's an amazing director. Um, I think what's cool is that, like, she really had a vision for, like, what she wanted for the movie, but she really, like, allowed the actors to really explore their characters, which is, like, there's so many, like, really, really cool raw moments in the movie. Yeah, it's interesting to have her as a director because <laughs> I remember 13, which oh, is 13, one of yeah. my favorite movies ever. And that was like her directorial debut. But then she also did Twilight. Like she's done like <laughs> such various movies that it's definitely interesting to see her yeah, she's great. do this take. But how do you relate to Ezra and how are you guys are different? Other than obviously your voice has changed since you have filmed this movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I filmed, <clears throat> I filmed the movie like two years ago. Um, so stuff has changed a little bit. <laughs> um, but... You know, like with Ezra, I mean, I, I, I really like his personality and like a lot of it was just me, like, like the, like the, I don't know, like the funny lines and like the just, you know, him being like a kind of a smart aleck, like, like that was a lot of just like, like I didn't have to act, like, it was just kind of just from me. Um, you know, obviously I don't have a meth head dad, but <laughs> like, you know, I just try to put myself in like Ezra's shoes and like, since his personality was kind of similar to me, it's like, you know, like what would I feel if like I was going through all these crazy things and yeah that was it yeah speaking of the dad played by Tyson you're a musician he's also a musician <laughs> actor what did you learn from him in kind of both those aspects oh yeah that is yeah that is cool like when I found out he did a lot it was really interesting and like um and the one of the in the in the movie at the very end I won't spoil the scene of course but Tyson actually wrote a song for the movie and the very the final scene of the movie is playing the entire time and it's a really beautiful piece and I and it was really cool to see like he's he's very creative and like um yeah like I just it was cool to see like how you can implement you know he's an actor as well but he also was able to implement like a lot of the musical talent so I think it was kind of cool to kind of see that and learn that is that something that you eventually want to do to make music for things that you're acting in as well? 
Well, that'd be awesome. Like, why not? Like, if it <laughs> if they need it and like it fits it, like, why, it'd be cool. Because you know, as an actor, <clears throat> you know so much about the movie and the characters, right? So you're, I think, the you can really make music if you're, you know, talented in music that you can really match the movie, you know, quite perfectly. And I, that's, I think, that's what Tyson was able to really do for the movie. And yeah, and you know, I started a band. I don't know if you know, like, I started a band, Thrive. So I've been getting into, you know, creating music and performing and stuff and so yeah we did that like two months ago i created the band and we ended up having like our first uh live show like right away in vegas at the space and it was like full house and it was crazy energy it was super cool um i'm a lead singer and we we're singing songs like you know u2 van halen bon jovi the doors pink floyd so yeah i'm really it's really cool the music and how it's i yeah i think i definitely would want to implement that into movies like why not yes why did you decide to have a band instead of being kind of just a solo singer? Yeah, so, well, the writer's strike was going on, and, you know, like, I I was just interested in making music, and I had a lot of other friends that were, like, they were very talented, and, you know, when I was younger, like, I would just, like, you know, sing songs, but what's cool about the band is, like, you really get that, like, rock energy, like, I love rock music, and, you know, like, hearing the you know like the electric guitar and the drums and the bass like we're all coming together it's just i think the energy is really cool and one of the bands i like i'm inspired by is u2 and you know they have a band and i just i i think that type of music kind of requires a band and i just mm-hmm. like i like the energy of like the whole f- like the fun of it you know hanging with your friends and just jamming and stuff yes uh, in the movie there's also boxing did you learn anything about fighting well it's it's cool you say that because I was actually like before the movie I didn't even know about the movie I was already training boxing for like a few months so it was it was a it was a cool coincidence because I was already <clears throat> educated in that and starting to do that so when I got to the movie and I had to like you know do the boxing scene and like the you know the other action scenes that are in the movie you know I was already I already had like a good sense of it so it definitely made it easier to do the action scenes it was kind of cool yeah you're a very interesting person that you have all these <laughs> hobbies and interests. You. Have you always kind of been like that? That you've always been ty- the type of person to explore things? I mean, yeah, I just think it's fun. And like, you know, just to see what you like and like see what you're good at. And, you know, a lot of my life, like I um, I was always into like the arts and stuff. And I did, I did baseball, but like not like a lot. I wasn't like really focusing on sports. So like, I was like, why not try boxing? Because that's like, it's a sport, but it's, you know, far from like, soccer football baseball and like now I'm really into boxing that's like my main sport and like I try to train like you know when I'm at home like to, to train as much as I can so yeah it is cool to just explore stuff and like see what you like I, I think it's fun yes and from the movie what was kind of your favorite scene to shoot hmm. my favorite scene well it's, I mean it's like a few like um there's a fight scene in the movie. I won't say what happens, but there's a fight scene in the movie, and I think that was pretty fun because, like, you know, standing up to those people because, like, I've never actually done like a physical fight scene, and I really enjoyed that. That was a cool experience. And then, like, I think my other favorite scene is probably there's a scene where um Brian, you know, he plays my grandfather. Like something happens in the movie, and he's like, he's consoling me, and like it's a kind of like a like a a grandson and grandfather like moment and it's really beautiful and you know that's what I was saying like it felt like he was my grandfather and like it was just I think people are really gonna like that scene because it's like really real and like it's just like you know one-on-one like emotional scene I think that was my I think it's another favorite scene of mine but yeah as long as the action was pretty cool as well <laughs> yeah the fighting was really cool and I was very much rooting for Ezra I also thought it was funny yeah. <laughs> But Ezra is a terrible liar. He always gets caught immediately. I just thought it was funny that it's just like, are you lying? Yeah, yeah but like, okay, sorry. It, it, I just thought it was funny and kind of yeah, yeah. authentic to that character and kind of the situation he is and, and just basically being a teenager. Yeah, Ezra was, was very funny, yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. This was great. I'm glad we finally got to work this out. Yeah, and yes. Been, love to talk to you about future projects and congrats on everything yeah thank you so much it was it was very fun thank you awesome thanks you have a good one yeah